Hello, Leo and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Welcome to Natural Healing Tarot. Today we are going to take a look at your monthly love reading for the month of January. If you find the messages helpful or that it resonates with your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you are more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome, and I upload messages daily. So, Leo, let's take a look. Also, guys, please keep in mind the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. You are more than welcome to check other signs within your birth chart. It's really about the title. If the title is resonating, there's most likely something here in the message. I also link a website below for a free birth chart mapping if that's something you're interested in. I do find that it's helpful and I recommend that if you're watching these astro tarot readings, it's helpful to know the signs that are in your birth chart because you may find that there are other signs that are resonating more than your sun sign. Okay. Also, guys, I do do a drawing here every month for a free personal reading. If it's something you guys are interested in getting in on, all you have to do is comment your astrological sign below. And last but certainly not least, I pull a power thought card at the end of every message. So if that's something that you're wanting to get in on, you are more than welcome to stay. So, Leo, time for a nap. To the sea, peace. get the sense, Leo, that you're taking a rest, taking a break from something. I feel like there's just a need here to go with the flow. That's where you're going to find this piece. It's going with the flow, taking a break from people, places, and things, and just focusing on Leo. So let's see. Let's see what the tarot has to say here, Leo, for you, for in love, for January. What does Leo need to see about the love section of their life in January? The love house. Most important message, spirit. Most important message. Hmm. All right, well, something is heavy. Something is burdening. Something is weighing on you. And I feel like you're not wanting to see. You're not wanting to see this for what it truly is, is what I'll say. Okay. I feel like you believe that this is a passionate connection and I feel like I feel like this may very well be okay we have the king of wands coming out with the ten of swords so there is a match here right but we have all this gunk between. So let's see if we can get some clarity here, Leo. Um, I'm really sensing that um, this person came into your life for a reason. Or you came into this person's life for a reason. But I feel like there's a lot of delays. There's um, a lot of missed opportunities. I also get the sense here, Leo, that this is causing a lot of sadness, a lot of heartache for you. Maybe even so, it's like depression almost. Very, very, very sad, very deep, a lot of confusion. Pay attention, okay? Pay attention. Do not do this. Do not look at the birds and the bees and the and the birds and the bees. Don't don't pay attention to the extra things that aren't affecting this connection if this is what you want to resolve. Okay? 
you're going to need to focus here. Focus on this connection. Because I do feel like that may be the problem is you're just, okay. Mm -hmm. So one thing I will say here, Leo, is standing your ground is going to be beneficial. Okay, there's also an air for acceptance that needs to take place. Um, however, going through this process with this person is changing your perspective on a lot of things. Okay, it's changing your perspective on life, on relationships. So maybe there's a need to have some communication with this person. Now with this death card, Leo, it's like it could be physical, possibly. Um, not, not usually, though. Normally, this is like an emotional, spiritual type of transformation, okay? It's something that, a type of sadness, a type of depression that really jolted your belief systems, okay? That really, um, really popped you open, woke you up, okay? So let's get some fairy tarot out here and see. I feel like there is an ex there is a need to accept to accept that um, this tr the transformation process, um, it's going to feel, it's not always going to feel like rainbows and lollipops, okay? At the end, it's going to feel very liberating, but at first, this transformation is hell, literally. That's why it's, look at it, it's the Grim Reaper. He's coming. He's coming for your ego. A lot, like I said, a lot of indecisive, a lot of, um, a lot of sadness, a lot of, um, so this is the tower moment, it's life experience, and this deck, it symbolizes belief systems that are changing, so, and that's exactly what the sense that I'm getting here. I get the feeling, Leo, that this transformation process, once you're done, you're going to be a completely different person possibly more balanced. Um, take your time. Have patience with this process, though, because it's not going to happen overnight, and it's also not going to feel pretty. It's going to feel very daunting, very... The hermit... Best way to deal with this death, this transformation. Okay? One thing I want to touch on here, Leo, is that you do make it out on the other side, okay? There is a more positive, more balanced opportunity, life ahead of you, okay? It's just making it through this process of processing these emotions and putting our foot down and not, not allowing people to take advantage of us, okay? I also feel like there's deep healing. Okay, with the Ten of Swords here, it's like this This was meant to soften you up. This is meant to open you up emotionally. Um, make you more aware of how you're presenting yourself to the world and the actions that you're taking and how they're affecting other people. Okay? So it's a lot of acceptance, a lot of accountability with the understanding that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. You're going through like a spiritual awakening process almost. Like more emotionally intelligent. So, Leo, I am going to do an extended reading on this. I want to take a look at this other person. I want to take a look at their position in this, um, where they're headed. I also want to look at how the outcome is going to potentially turn out and also some advice with the guidance destiny cards. So if that's something that you're interested in, the link will be below in the description box. Otherwise, the power thought card coming out for you, Leo, is my healing is already in process.
My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleanse and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. So Leo, that is the message that I have for you guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.